Hello everybody and welcome to a very crisp late afternoon or even early evening in January 2024 in Nottingham I'm about three or four miles out of the city centre that is over there now I've come to locate and hopefully get to have a really good look at something that was part of what is now known as the Neverfield Lagoons once gravel pits until the 1960s and later on used as slurry tips for Gedling Colliery behind me there used to be a tunnel which carried an industrial railway below the once huge and busy Colic railway yard and also those steam sheds that were once situated here until the 1960s so I'm going to push on this way the lagoons and the former gravel pits are over there I'm hoping to get to this former tunnel which was used for this industrial railway passing below the railway as it is active today that railway but let's see if we can get inside and have a little look Now there are numerous of these little underpasses or short tunnels along this stretch of line. This stretch of line has been taken out of use so many times. After it was used as a proper railway, it was then used for the oil refinery sidings and then that closed in the mid 2014, 15 sort of time. Don't know the exact date. Then it reopened again, they were storing test trains up there. And then it went out of use again. And now it's back in use again. So it's not one to be walked along the line from Rectory Junction to the former Rectory oil sidings. There's a locomotive depot on there now for maintenance, I believe for the Colas company. So the three lagoons, they're up there. You can see that embankment up there and see a little bit of light coming over the top there. There's three of them. So right in the center of this shot, you've got the three lakes, the Neverfield lagoons, the former gravel pits and slurry dumping grounds from Gedling Colliery. And we're down on the left hand side, if I jump down to round my pond line you can see all those red swirling lines absolutely dominate in the centre of the screen. That is the former Collet Yard and the steam sheds. You can see the River Trent going from left to right and just above centre you can see those three lagoons look. Let's jump to an old map and we can see on here where it says Towing Path and the River Trent. Now the little piece of track bed that I'm looking for is this one with the dash line going downwards underneath the main railway lines and appearing on the opposite side. We can go to this map overlay of exactly the same location and you can see now those three lagoons have appeared on the right hand side and that little piece of track work is still situated there and the main body of the railway is also from top to bottom. If we look at Realm Map Online again you can see all those red lines, but I've zoomed in a heck of a lot closer. And over here, look, you can just see a faint browny yellow line. And that depicts our little industrial line coming away from the gravel pits. I can now take away all the used and old abandoned railway lines. And all we're left with is the Nottingham to Grantham railway line. And also the line off to those sheds that we saw previously, which was the former Rectory Junction oil sidings. But again, you can still see our orangey brown lines coming away from the lagoons, which was the former gravel pits. Right down here is where we're going to be looking for our short little tunnel, which took this track work below the main railway. Now, hang on. What we got over here now, I think this is where the brook or the river goes under the railway. Because I can see some brickwork. I'm going to try and get through this spiky stuff. So, yeah. That is where, that is back in use again. It used to go to the oil refinery side and rectory junction side is down there. And I think there's a railway company using it again. It might be Colas. I've seen something parked on there. So yeah, there's a culvert here, look. Looks a bit deep and stagnant, doesn't it? Oh, a little bit out of breath. But you can see out the other end, look. I think I'm going to get the torch out and just light that up a little bit. But that's some pretty good brickwork it's quite long but it does look very very deep but this is pretty much the sort of thing we're looking for but a little bit bigger 
So I've been able to shine the torch in a lot and you can see that it is dead straight and it is actually very, very long, isn't it? This is going underneath parts of the running lines and also where the former yard used to be. It goes off in that direction down there. It looks a bit minging, doesn't it? Track beds directly above, look. But that's not bad, is it? Look at the brickwork sloping down. I'll put the beam on it there and you can look at it after so you know where I'm on about. Right, I'm going to leave this behind and push on. Try and get back here without spiking myself up or falling over. So we're getting the track bed up there. I'm going to get back on the footpath and head further down there. So you come to this peculiar bit of the path, it's got like slabbed stepping stones and you get to the second one. Ah, uh, it's looking a bit out of reach. Yeah, that's uh, well his job that is. I can't see light coming out of the other end either, even though there is a flow of water coming out of it, it stinks a bit, so I'm assuming it goes around the corner. I think definitely there needs to be a wader's day along this stretch because there's more than one of these along here there's absolutely no way i can get around there in normal footwear but not really come to see these today so hence not got the wellies i'm going to push on down and find the next one so a little bit further down we'll come across the fourth tunnel underpass culvert so we've had the footpath we've had that underwater culvert we've had the one we've just looked at previously which was the third one and I couldn't get across because it was all boggy. We need to come back for that one. But there's another one through there. I'm going to try my best to get to it. This water coming through that one, I think. And once we've looked at this one, the fifth one should be the former gravel pit industrial line that came down and underneath the railway land just over there. So there is a gate, but it looks padlocked. Um, so, yeah, we definitely had a look with this one, aren't we? I think a braver version of me probably it looks like maybe that's been used and then people have jumped over, but maybe we we'll have to come back to this one on another day. I can get right up to it. I'm not sure what all these concrete blocks are about. Let me shine the light in and we'll have a look. There we go. So we can get a better look of it, look. I mean, it's more like... It's more like a culvert, isn't it, than... Anything else, but... I did pass another culvert just a little bit further back. It doesn't look like there's really anything... Apparent, but it looks like it goes uphill at the other end. You can see also there are some exterior gates look just here, very very old, the tunnel is just there. Right, I found it. I found that old tramway tunnel. It's just through there, tramway industrial line, whatever it was. Let's zoom in a bit. Now, the line above it is still there and it's still active, so we're not getting around that way. I'm going to see if I can find a sensible, safe way to get over and have a nosy inside there. So, here it is. Look, that is absolutely astounding, isn't it? Just sat there below the railway line, our former industrial railway or tramway. So, it came down from over in that direction, cut across from the gravel pits, came along here, 
shot below the active railway line and yards and appeared on the opposite side before it actually turned to run alongside the railway over in that direction. And here it is, look, this is what it looks like on the inside. It seems to be in two separate sections. So probably when the railway was widened, because I think this area here off towards on the Derbyshire extension of the Great Northern Railway was built later. You can see the beam is hitting infill and it does go to the very top. I get along sideways. You can kind of like see around the corner look. I believe it's completely landscaped on the other side so there's no way in any further than this. You can see just there the wall is hitting the original outer exterior wall. And again, the beam is hitting the opposite side. So this is absolutely remarkable, isn't it? A little bit of hidden history right out of the way. So now we've found that, I can give you a rough idea of what used to happen. So the pits are over there, the gravel pits, and there was this short little branch that come along, came down here. Now for some purpose, there was a kind of a head shunt that went just up there for around about 50, 60 yards, 100 meters or so, whichever you choose to use. And then it came back around and curved and went on into the tunnel. Underneath the active track beds above and out the other side, then it took a right turn and met up with the main line just up top where Collet Yard was. So I'm really pleased I managed to get at least right up to it because it didn't really go anywhere if I had got inside and it was a bugger to get to. Got a few spiky bits in my legs, but it's worth it. It's something else that's hidden away with a little bit of history, isn't it? You can see it's late evening now. That's the signal box right in the middle there, look, of Rectory Junction. So I do hope you've enjoyed this short little explore. As you can see, I really have lost the light now. Any more suggestions like that? You know, not just in Nottinghamshire, Derbyshire, Leicestershire, even Lincolnshire, Yorkshire. Let's do it. Please comment below and like and subscribe. Love your feedback. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.